Uh, application UBC Cambridge, 35 Cambridge Park Drive for a new common victualler of alcohol and beverages license. John Gerard is proposed manager. Just one administrative note first. This is just the um, other affidavit with all the green cards. Thank you. Good afternoon. If you could please state and spell your names for the record. Uh, Caroline McConnell. Um, here representing the post licensee, OCO and IBLL. Um, with me is Mike Carney, C A R N E Y, who is the owner, and Alec Girardi, Y E R A R D I, who is the proposed manager. Okay, thank you. Um, in the ABCC application, mm -hmm. um, <coughs> the description of premises is different from the one that was submitted um, in our application. Um, so the ABCC application just basically says first floor level with outdoor seating and closed kitchen area with four-sided bar. Um, we can update that to include the more detailed application yeah, that we gave you. Yeah, and I think, and, and that's what I was just going to say, I was going to say we can, we can, if we are inclined to approve this application, we'd probably approve it with the more descriptive Correct. one that you filed uh, with the um, with the viewpoint application, just so that you know. I have some other questions, I know that we're called by our staff, I just want to make sure that everything else. Um, Mr. Carney, have you had an interest in an alcoholic beverage license before? I have uh, an interest currently in new license in Westford. Okay. So, Councillor, you'll need that to... Was, that may have been, might have been, I think, is approved between the time we filed the application Correct. and we attended this hearing. Yeah. Exactly. It was approved about um, three or four weeks ago. Right. So we can update that. Yeah. Just when we filed it, he had not been approved on the license yep. yet. All right. these two tags here. This one is so that you can put the name of the entity. Yep. And then this one is so that Mr. Girardi's name is actually put on, it, it just says AJ. Oh, yeah. You can give him, you can give him a full name. <laughs> yeah. All the typos are me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Nice. Nice. This was fixed. <laughs> nice. Um, I got your... Okay, you guys had a planning board decision. Did you submit with them a, um, a stamped a floor uh, a floor plan that's stamped an architectural stamped floor plan? No, we didn't. No, we just submitted uh, the floor plan that was provided by the landlord. Okay. Which had already been approved. Okay. But not the floor plan, but the uh, the, the footprint. Okay. Out. And then in terms of the capacity, how did you reach the capacity on these floor plans? The architect. Okay, do you have the one with the architect with the numbers? Because the one that you gave us doesn't really have the numbers. Yeah, we cleaned it up so you could see it, that's right. <laughs> so if you can give Everybody me the- Everybody told me you needed that, okay. Uh, yes, we can, we can easily get you a plan from the architect. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, we'll keep this one because sure. yes, it is clean and nice, um, but we need the one with the architect's numbers on sure. it as well. All right. Yeah. Okay, so that takes care of my admin stuff. Now you may start. <laughs> <laughs> Good, well, I'm glad you got all that cleaned up. So we are here for um, Ultimate Burger, which is going to be 42. Um, oh, that's what it stands for? Yeah, Ultimate okay. Burger Company, um, which is that the concept is a farm to table restaurant focusing on burgers. Um, and it's, you know, we're looking for a restaurant that's going to be locally sourced with respect to the food, with respect to you know the beer, wine, and spirits, um, really looking to be kind of a local tie to the community. Um, I mean, the guiding principles are being, uh, being mindful of customers and staff, coinciding with family values. We'll treat both our customers and staff in a way we would ourselves want to be treated. Um, an attitude of gratitude shown to our customers, employees, and vendors, because without their input, service, labor, and time, our business would not be here without them and provide warm, friendly service expected from a family-style restaurant, creating an informal, comfortable environment which will make the customer satisfied and want to return repeatedly. 
So this is really intended to be a, a family farm to table restaurant. Um, uh, one of the items we have is uh, one of the questions was the patio capacity yep. is 92 people seated, 500 total. Um, that's really intended only to be used at full capacity for special events. It's not intended to be 92 people sitting, 400 people drinking beers, um, but it is a large patio and some of the comments from the community were they would like to be able to have some events on the patio, obviously with proper notice and um, if everybody is, you know, properly licensed to do it. But that's the reason there's that huge disparity between 92 and 500. <coughs> we are aware of the, the food to alcohol ratios required by Cambridge, so we'll comply with that. Do you know the square footage of the patio? I have it for the inside, but I don't yeah, have it for the patio. Right. No, but we can provide that. Okay. I know off the top of my head. Okay. I can get it, I'll get it overall. I, I can provide full size plan, if that would be helpful. Three foot by, you know, two foot, so you can actually see the scale. Would be helpful. No. no. Okay. I think she's Thank looking you. at you saying shrink it down to something I can actually use. Okay. <laughs> All I can say is it's very hard to read. Yeah. <laughs> That's all. As long as you send it electronically, I can zoom in. Okay, perfect. Uh, which is fine. Um, and, it, and it'll be good for ISD also because they'll, uh, they'll be able to see it too. Um, Okay, yeah, so if I can get the square footage of the patio, because I, I know that we asked for the um, for the floor plan and that you submitted one, um, and I was just wondering where, so the patio, so is this all, Correct. this is what, and how is this enclosed? How is this aerial enclosed? So the landlord is going to be providing a, uh, a final plan for the fencing. Okay. And then that needs to go through um, the city, I believe. or whatever barrier is requested. Okay. And this is all um, private, right? Correct. Correct. You have to come in through the restaurant to like the patio, there's not, you're not going to be having any street access, right? No, no street access. And you're going to serve burgers at 6 a.m.? So there'll be food throughout the, uh, the day. We've been asked, um, for breakfast because of the train station. So we're still trying to generate a decent breakfast um, menu based on, um, you know, we have, our, uh, we have our food service people out actually interviewing everybody in the neighborhood. And, it's, and they're out there in the morning trying to figure out, you know, are we talking about sandwiches or are we grab and go? What is it going to be? Uh, we're looking for the hours so that we can I mean, There are some breakfast. people that like burgers at 6 a.m especially if they work the night shift, so. Sure, <laughs> sure. <laughs> but I was just wondering if that was the only thing. Okay. Um, All right, right now, we're still under construction. The proposed opening date would be probably October, November. So, okay. we've got a little bit of time. And you keep saying you, you keep getting asked, I'm assuming this is going to the public meeting, is this the landlord that's asking or is it the community? I'm sorry? The, you keep saying that you, you're getting asked to do breakfast. You're getting asked to do. So we're 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 interviewing the neighbors. Okay. So the businesses and the uh, and the foot traffic, and what they're at. You know, we're trying to get a good grasp on exactly you know, how we can best satisfy the uh, the needs and what really the needs are. Besides, you know, we know they need a restaurant, um, but uh, you know, what that restaurant's going to provide, we're just trying to dial in on it. Okay. Right. I, I would assume that's something that's going to be a work in progress through our first year. You know, as we try to you know, make sure that we're providing something that's profitable for us and that you know that everybody likes. Okay. And no TVs. Uh, yes, there are there are TVs and some and background music. Okay. How many TVs are you proposing? It's probably going to be three TVs. There's a lot of glass, so we don't have a lot of spots to put TVs. And the music, background music, or above conversation level music? Background music. Okay. The landlord's also, um, just for the building itself, so I understand they've uh, attenuated the sound, so. Okay. All right. And Mr. Girardi, have you ever been a manager of a liquor license before? No. And can you tell us a little bit about your experience in the food and beverage industry? I kind of 
started the bottom bar backing when I was uh, played off from landscaping, developed a passion for giving people a good, fun experience, and came Did you say developed a pattern? Passion. Oh, yeah, I was like, you developed a pattern? Yeah. <laughs> okay, sorry. Passion for providing like, good, safe, fun, and continued on with that, and got in contact with them, and got off your job. Awesome. And are you, uh, um, are you familiar with the rules and regulations of this board, the ABCC, yes. and the laws of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts with regard to the sale and service of alcohol? Yes. And do you understand that we expect you to stay up to date with those rules, laws, and regulations? Yes. And are you TIPS or 21 proof certified? I am TIPS. Okay, did you bring it with you by any chance? I did. Okay, uh, there we go. Okay. If I can have it now, that would be better. <laughs> Xavier Dietrich. Anyone else in opposition to this petition? Councillor, do you want to respond to anything? No, I think we just heard from Dante that there's a request. I didn't hear an answer to my question. Sir, I'm not here to answer your questions, and she's speaking now, so please. So there's not going to be any discussion about public need in Sir, this? this is not a discussion between you and me. Okay, this, there's Thank no you. public need in Sir, the you have been heard. Thank you. Go ahead. I believe that, um, as Dante just explained, there is a um, request to have a restaurant in the neighborhood to service the residents of the neighborhood. Um, I believe that the proposed ICC has been doing a um, considerable amount of outreach to the neighborhoods to make sure that this particular establishment services the people of that neighborhood with what they want. Um, it's a family-oriented restaurant. I believe it would be an asset to that community. Thank you. And I will vote for Grant as well. And just for the record, we were going to update the premise description to the more descriptive one right. and inclusive of the square footage of the patio once we get it. Um, and also, we will be adding the three TVs, uh, which uh, were not on the application. And, and we'll be getting your one. And once you're done with the build out, just make sure that the plan that you submit also tells us where the TVs are located. Okay. Thank you. And counselor, before you go, just make sure that you put the name of the place here. Yeah, I will. And then I'm just going to give this back to you. Right. I'll, I'll just update it and email it to you if that's okay. Perfect. All right. Thank Great. you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.